huge concept. Horizontal horizon. Sunrise over the horizon. Easy, okay. That's because math is math makes sense. This is also our x-axis. When we're dealing with horizontal, horizontal translations, we are messing with the x-axis. Okay? We're messing with not the x-axis, we're messing with the x part of the equation. Okay? So if you had y equaled, um, we'll use the absolute value one y equal the absolute value of x by itself. Okay, so there's, um, there we are. And we uh, wanted to show a translation either way. We would mess with the x section. Okay, the part that's related to x. I'm not going to do it out here. No, no, no. That's up and down. It's on the outside. You mess with the x because we're on the horizon, which is the x-axis. Okay. Well, that was very artistic. Now let's look at this. Okay. This is the part where everyone says, oh, it's backwards. You should, with minus 3 means you should be moving and doing it, doing it like this. But um, the real answer, and I'll get into this when I re-explain the something having to do with the quadratic formula in proper form. A negative 3 here, a minus 3, means you go right. Okay, remember, you just got to remember this. 1, 2, 3. So moving this thing over, there is our graph. Y equals the absolute value of x minus 3. Okay, that's it right there. Similarly, y equals x plus 2. Well, there's our x. Bang, bang. Positives going the backwards way now. That's that one. Okay. Horizontal, mess with the x. x is the horizon. Okay. This backwards business, I don't like just having things just remember it just cuts. Here's here's the form of the equation. It'll make, make sense after I, I do this for you. A horizontal translation is written by this. Y equals F of X minus H. Okay? This is the formula. Maybe get it down in your notebook. Okay. I want to show now this this will be here. I want to show this to move three units left. Okay. Well, this is the logic part. Left means negative. Okay, that's negative. Perfect. Well, I'll move it three units left. All right. I'll say uh, okay. Um, y equals um, x. I want to move it three units left. That's my my thing here. Uh, I'm going to do x minus h, but h, because I'm moving three units left negative, h is minus 3, right? I'm moving three units left. That's my h. My h is my displacement. What happens when you subtract a minus 3? Okay? It becomes a positive 3. That's why a move left is shown with a positive sign. Okay? Because the function itself is written as this, is given, has been developed, discovered. y equals f of x minus h. If you move to the left, h is a negative number. If you move to the, just like normal. If you move to the right, h is a positive number. Okay? If I wanted to move 10 units right, y equals absolute value of x minus 10 units to the right minus a positive 10. Well, you know, in this case, that in fact is x minus 10. But that's why we get negative moving this way and positive moving that way. Because the equation is set up and that's a negative sign. Okay? Kind of one of those little pains in the butt that you'll just kind of have to get used to.